everyone! Long time no see! And tutorial. Today I will be showing you guys how to create this look I have been wearing a lot. I call it Peach Perfect because it's a perfect peachy glowing look to wear for spring. To me, spring makeup is all about looking bright and flirty. Let's start. Oh gosh, thanks to anemia, my complexion is looking pretty sallow these days. So I like to use an luminescent base to fake my way into glowing skin. The tiniest bit goes a long way to reflect away any dullness for plumper looking skin. The NARS Sheer Glow Foundation is my absolute favorite when it comes to spring. Since the formula is pretty hydrating, I like to make dabs all over my face and then blend off with a dense buffing brush. Now if you want to keep the coverage, you want to make short strokes. And a little tip for a flawless looking face is to make sure that you apply your foundation in thin layers rather than pack too much at one go because this keeps your skin from looking heavy and caked. Now it's time to light up the face. Now using my favorite Illuminating Concealer, I'm going to pop it under my eye area in the shape of a right angle triangle. This will brighten it up and give an illusion of higher cheekbone. We're gonna down the nose bridge for a taller nose and for lifted eyes on my brow bone and then for a sharper face on my chin and also center off my forehead. And if you want, you can also define the edges of your lips. Now let the magic begin and blend away. This is my favorite part. Although remember, when it comes to your under eye area, you want to make padding motions instead because you want to keep this area looking real bright. And same goes for the bridge of your nose. You want to just pat. Look how much dimension it has brought to my face. Completely brightened up. Moving on to contour the face, I'm going to use my cream palette and I'm just making strokes along the hollow of my cheeks and also on my jawline and also my forehead to really define it down. If you want, you can also define your nose and in my case, I'm just applying it in the tip. Now with my buffing brush, I can let the shading begin and as you can see, I'm just making circular buffing motions and as I work backwards, the circles become bigger. This way, I get a more natural transition. It can be a little tricky using cream contour at the beginning, but a really good tip is to make sure that when you're buffing the brush on your skin, you don't want to press too hard. Light pressure is all you need to buff and blend the color beautifully. When it comes to my nose, instead of using brushes, I like to use the defined part of my Beauty Blender sponge. I find that it tends to give a more natural result, and as you can see, I just blend it upwards so it blends in gradually. Sometimes contouring your nose can end up making it quite empowering, so you want to keep it looking nice and soft. With the base done, it's time to move on to the brows. Now as you can see with my pencil, especially at the front of my brows, I'm really mimicking hair-like strokes. Like a lot of you guys out there, I'm really not blessed with the best of brows, but we can only do what we can, right? So anyways, afterwards, I like to line the base and the top of my brows, sharpen the edges, and then using a spoolie, brush it out so it looks nice and soft. You can go ahead and use any eye primer you like. I don't like to use anything else apart from my Shu Urimura cream shadow. It's just got the perfect amount of tackiness and creates a nice glimmer in my eyes. Finally, we can move on to eyeshadow. So I'm going to start out with this beautiful matte peach color. And I'm pretty much just applying a nice wash just to warm up the eyes, give it a nice spring look. And as you can see, I'm only applying it about halfway up. But you want to make sure it's blended nicely. Uh, yeah, by the way, I, I apologize that it's not focused too well at this point, but I promise it does get better, okay? Soon, soon. With that done, I'm going to move on to this pinky coral color, and I'm going to apply it in the outer two-thirds of my eyes. And when I'm applying it to my eyes, I want to make sure that I pass the crease slightly. You can see how much this beautiful eyeshadow just instantly makes the eyes pop. And if it looks quite fluorescent to you and a bit too much at this point, don't worry because it will look much more toned down later. Alright, so at this point, it looks like my eyes have been stung by bees, so do not worry. Now taking this matte brown eyeshadow, I'm going to tone down the red tones. And as you can see, I'm pretty much just applying it above the pinky coral. And then with my brush working in circular motions, I'm gently blending out so it reaches about two thirds way up. So at this point, you just want to take your time blending your eyeshadows so the pinky coral transitions into that bridge color, which is the soft matte brown. Now to deepen the eyes ever so slightly, I'm going to take this darker reddish brown and I'm just going to apply on the edge in circular motions. And again, this will make my eyes look much more rounder and bigger as well. 
Moving on to this darker brine color, but still quite light, I'm just gonna pop it in the edge again. But this time instead, my circle shape is kept quite small because I just want to define the eyes. I don't want to make it look heavy and dark. Since we're already using corals and brines and peaches, you want to really contrast from that. So a black eyeliner is a must. Now working in very small strokes, I like to start from the inner parts of my eye and move my way out. And you can see the black really contrasts from the eyeshadow to make the eyes pop. Springtime is all about the eyes looking fun and flirty, so be sure to do a winged eyeliner. To keep the makeup looking romantic, I'm just using a brown pencil eyeliner and I'm just marking it ever so slightly and then with a smudger brush, I'm going to smudge it out. The fuzzier it looks, the better. Now to really emphasize the sweet fuzzy brown underneath the eyes, I'm going to take a brown shadow from my B palette and I'm just going to apply it over the eyeliner to set it nicely. Going back to my ColourPop palette, I'm going to take this light peach and I'm going to pop it in the midsection of my lower lash line. Alright, you guys already know that this is my absolute favorite eyeshadow for highlighting my inner corners. It's like, boop! Next up, mascara. It's actually a better idea to apply your lower lashes before you do your top because it prevents from smudging. And today, I'm going to be wearing falsies, but little small ones. I actually have a lot of respect for um, people who wear it every day because it's so much effort. I personally like to apply mascara afterwards just so it blends with my natural lashes better, but it's not compulsory. Alright, eyes done. What's next? Lips. I'm going to be using this blush toned lippy pencil from Colourpop and I'm going to start off by lining my lips first. Then afterwards, I'm just going to fill it in. So just remember at this point, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just creating a base for our lip color for later. So right now, I'm using Chandelier from Colourpop but I actually grabbed the wrong color. It was supposed to go for a peach one but this one is really pretty too. So you guys already know I already contoured using cream, but I'm just going to add a powder layer, a very thin powder layer around the crescents of my face just to create more dimension. Using the same powder, I'm just going to use a smaller brush and then just run it down the sides of my nose just to even up the contour to make everything look blurred. Taking my favorite highlighter from Makeup Forever, I'm just going to run it down my nose bridge so my nose appears taller than my cupid's bow and on my chin and of course on my cheekbones so they look higher, more hydrated and plump. I've actually had this blush for ages and it's from Bobbi Brown and it's the shimmer blush in coral and I forgot how much I loved it. It's a pretty coral blush with flecks of gold in it. Gives you the perfect blush for spring. Last but not least, setting the face with translucent powder and it has to be my Laura Mercier powder, concentrating on inner parts of the face. Actually, the last step is going back to the correct lip color, which is this beautiful peach color. I just feel like it's a more of a fresh, brightening look and just ties the whole look even better. Voila! And now this flirty, peachy look is done. It's a beautiful look to wear for spring because of its brightening and glowing effects. It also photographs beautifully as well, which is why it's become one of my favorite looks because people keep telling me, you've got the pregnancy glow and I kind of laugh because we all know it's just the makeup. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care and don't forget to subscribe. Mwah.